Hello, my name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. In this uh, tutorial, we're going to create an application for the Android operating system uh, called Touch Paint. We're going to make it run on the emulator. This is designed as a review for my eighth grade programming class. Um, if you've watched parts one and part two of my tutorials, you should have the Android emulator set up and the Eclipse platform configured. Uh, you can watch parts one and two to get those things set up. And I'm going to go into Eclipse. And uh, we're going to create a new project. I'm going to go File, New. And we're going to create a new Android project. And under Project Name, I'm just going to go ahead and give this a, a generic name. I'm going to call it Project 1. And down at the bottom, we've got a few things we need to uh, create. Application name, all right? We're going to call this Touch Paint. Now, when you're working with Java, capitalization counts. For the package, we need to have two levels, com.touchpaint. And under the activity, touch paint once again. So uh, if you fill it out and it looks like that, you'll be in good shape. Really, uh, we're going to use resources that are provided by Google in order to create this Touch Paint app. So uh, by creating those names exactly the way you see them, it's going to be very helpful. Uh, don't change that because uh, if you do, you'll have to go in and refactor the entire program. I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to click Finish. And over on the left, we've got Project 1. Okay, I'm going to click the down arrow. And you can see we've got our source directory. And we've got our package com.touchpaint. And I'm going to double click on touchpaint.java. And I'm going to open it up in our primary editing screen. I'm going to close anything else that may be there. And what we've got is a basic uh, stub that is uh, a simple activity. Uh, this is our default bland kind of uh, blank activity that is generated by the Android plugin for Eclipse. We can do anything with this. All right, my next step is to go to the um, developer.android.com, all right? And I'm under the Resources tab, all right? And Google is really great about this. They provide all kinds of sample code that you can use and uh, learn from in order to develop Android applications. Um, you don't really have to recreate the wheel. You can use all the APIs and all the sample code that's available to you to sort of generate your own applications. The functionality you need is already there. Um, so I'm going to click on API Demos. And down at the bottom, OK, we're going to work with Graphics. All right, so I'm going to click on Graphics. And uh, by bringing open the Graphics site here, it's running just a little bit slow on my end. Here we are. Um, I'm going to scroll down, and what we've got here is we've got a set of files that are available to us. And all of these files are um, different pieces of source code that are useful to us uh, that have been provided by Google uh, for the Android platform. We're going to find one down here that says touchpaint.java, and this is going to be our first file. Uh, so I'm going to click on uh, touchpaint.java, and I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And what we've got here is we've got our first file for our Touch Paint program. I'm going to select everything in the file. I'm going to go all the way down. And I'm going to select the entire Touch Paint application that is provided to us um, so generously by Google. Uh, copy there, selected. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Copy. I'm going to go back to my Eclipse platform. I'm going to hit Control A to select everything inside of touchpaint.java. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to paste the contents of touchpaint.java from the Google website into Eclipse. Um, OK, so the first error that's going to come up is you'll see that it'll say package com.example.android.apis.graphics. And it says the declared package com.example.android.apis does not match the expected package com.touchpaint, which is what we would expect because we're inside our package right now is called com.touchpaint. And so we need to tell this particular file that it is a part of this package that we've created. So I'm going to delete 
this, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write com dot touch paint, and we're going to eliminate that arrow, that error. And uh, there we go. We're we're all clear there on com dot touch paint. So now we're a part of the correct package. Okay. We're going to scroll down and we're going to find our next error. And the next error says, okay, we've got um, a public class here, touch paint, that extends graphics activity. All right, and if I mouse over that, it says graphics activity cannot be resolved to a type. Now, Eclipse is offering us the option to create the class graphics activity for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let Eclipse do that for me this time. I'm going to say, okay, well, let's create the graphics activity class because obviously we need that type and it's not available to us right now. And when I do that, it's going to bring it up. And if you take a look, you can see the name is called graphics activity and everything's all set up. All I have to do is click finish and it will create a new Java file with the appropriate name called graphicsactivity.java. All right, this is a public class that is entirely blank right now. There's nothing in it. All right, so it's not very helpful. Um, we're going to go back to the developer.android site. And uh, underneath our files here, they give us a copy of this one. Okay, so I'm going to take a look. If you take a look right here, it says graphicsactivity.java. I'm going to go ahead and open that file up. And this is a really small file. Um, I'm going to, and this is one that actually extends activity. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to copy this whole file. Hey, I got it the first time that time. I'm going to choose copy. And I'm going to go back into Eclipse and under graphicsactivity.java, I'm going to select everything that's there. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to paste um, the contents of graphics activity into that. And the only error we get right now is the red underline com.example.android.apis.graphics does not exist. So we need to tell it it's a part of our package com.touchpaint. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to tell it com.touchpaint. All right, and eliminate that. All right. So we are almost ready to fire this thing up in the emulator, except we've got one more error down here. It says, wait a minute, we've got picture layout, and once again, by mousing over it in Eclipse, it's going to tell us what the problem is. And this is a typical technique you can use in Eclipse, just to mouse over the red underline, and it tells you, you know, it gives you some suggestions as to what's wrong. Picture layout cannot be resolved to a type. Well, we need a class. So I'm going to say, okay, well, let's go ahead and create that class picture layout. And we'll create a blank, uh, a blank stub here. And once again, we've got our new class. Um, new create a new Java class, picture layout, everything's set. I'm going to click Finish. And we've got a blank stub for um, picture layout. And we're going to cut back to the developer site. And once again, Google has provided us with picture layout.java right there. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one up. This one's a little bit longer. So I am going to copy the entire file and we're going to paste it into picture layout.java. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose copy and I'm going to select everything in picture layout.java. I'm going to delete it and I'm going to paste the contents in. Um, once again, the only thing we need to fix in this file up at the very top is where the package is. Our package is called com.touchpaint. And if you've never worked with Java before, you know, this uh, hopefully is starting to make a little bit of sense here.